Hello everyone, my name is Emma Gilmartin and today I'm presenting on the work of Justine Curland and how her photography reflects an exploration of womanhood and her own personal identity, as well as how her work inspires me. So for a little background on the artist, Justine Curlin was born in Warsaw, New York, and her mother sold costumes at Renaissance fairs, so she never really developed roots as a child as she moved around a lot with her mother. At 15, she ran away to eventually live with an aunt that took her in, and she pursued becoming an artist. As you'll see in the following presentation, Curlin's experience as a runaway has major influence over her work. These are two series that Curland is well known for, and I want to talk about them in a reverse chronological order as the oldest series, Girl Pictures, is a very complex project to unpack. After the birth of her son, Curland started a road trip with her three-month-old that lasted five years. During that road trip, she took pictures of highway kind, the homeless and nomadic people traveling along the same road she traveled. She compiled these five years worth of photos with photos from previous road trips into a series of 12 years worth of photos from across the United States. When I look at Curlin's work, I am immediately reminded of the realism period in art history in which painters were beginning to move away from painting the aristocracy and shifting to paint the harsh realities of everyday working class life. Curlin's Highway Kind series feels like a modern day realism movement as the series explores the realities of homelessness and living on the road today. I am inspired by how Curlin has woven her own experience living on the road as a runaway with influences from art history. As you'll see in the rest of the presentation, this theme continues throughout her work and as a multidisciplinary artist myself, I am now thinking differently about my approach to photography and how I can draw on what I've learned in other art classes to think more critically about the photos I take. The most interesting series to me that Curland has done so far is Girl Pictures. From 1997 to 2002, Curland drove across America from the East Coast to the West and recruited teenagers and young women as impromptu models to pose in the nearby landscapes. Again, like Highway Kind, these photos have similarities to different painting styles and compositions throughout history but there are more layers of Curlin's personal experiences and the overall female experience to unpack here. First, these pictures immediately reminded me of classical mythology paintings depicting goddesses, nymphs, and other beautiful creatures of the waters and forests. Curlin allows her models to embrace the landscape and the combination of idyllic environments and a human-focused composition gives the girls and girl pictures an ethereal presence. Second, these pictures still remind me of the realism period captured in Curlin's most recent Highway Kind series. There is a duality to girlhood that Curlin captures in these photos. The perfect ideas of mystery and beauty depicted in the goddess paintings, and the reality of being an ordinary girl. I think I find myself pulled back to the realism period with these pictures because the girls are wearing everyday clothes and they aren't airbrushed models. They're not idealized, and in fact, Curlin projects both her real and idealized experiences as a runaway into these photos. We can see this with the actions of exploration and adventure as the girls embody the pioneers of the American frontier, but I find these pictures to have a melancholic undertone as the reality of life as a runaway would be one of uncertainty and danger, especially for a young girl. Which leads me to take a deeper look into the way Curlin created these photos. From what I understand, Curlin began creating pictures with girls she knew, but as she traveled further across the U.S., she started actively searching the streets for teenagers and college-aged young women and would ask them to accompany her in her car to a different location. Curlin has acknowledged that these methods seem predatory and creepy, saying, quote, I expanded the cast to include some college freshmen and eventually started trolling the streets around various high schools, cruising for genuine teenage collaborators. Looking back, it seems miraculous that so many of them were prepared to get into a stranger's car and be driven off to an out-of-the-way location. On the one hand, I understand that this series is an exploration of freedom as Curlin defends her methods in the quote shown here. Girl Pictures is truly an exploration of the many personal and societal layers to girlhood and a desire to break the mold that society pushes onto them. Their act of defiance against the world was to be reckless enough to get into a stranger's car. It's interesting to me, however, that Curlin's methods also make this a project, one that would only be socially tolerable for a woman to do. 
The discussion around a project like this would be very different if a man roamed the streets around high schools looking for teenage girls to get in his car, or even boys for that matter. This exclusivity makes Curlin's girl pictures a true exploration of girlhood as she established a trusting enough bond with the girls, woman to woman, something akin to sisterhood or mother to daughter. To conclude, while Curlin's photography style puts her subjects in serene, idyllic settings, there is still a realistic aspect that cannot be ignored, whether it be the reality of life on the road or life as a young runaway girl. Her methods were definitely questionable, but it does make her work all the more unique. After looking at Curlin's work, I will always be considering what movements and styles from art history I may want to draw upon in my own work.